either. So I'm going to apologize now because I tried to film at work today and I'll show you that. I really did try. And I got a phone call in the middle of um, buttering the curb and uh, the little foot rest thing. It's not a bench, so you can't call it a bench. I mean, I guess you can call it a bench, but it's a tiny, tiny bench. And it's not really meant for that. And my hair is all crazy because I just grabbed a butcher block countertop for the bar because it occurred to me, hey, lumber prices are still skyrocketing. The butcher block countertop is only $10 more than it used to be a year ago. I better get it before somebody notices. So, I have it. And wasn't my intent. I really, you know, if I was using my work brain, I would have picked up more CPVC and probably some four inch for the toilet. But I haven't even opened the floor. You can see that in the video. I have not even opened the floor for that. The only reason I now believe it's four inch is because when I was looking down into the pipe, I noticed that the three inch flange, when you look down to about here, there's two couplings that come together. And the only way those couplings could fit inside a pipe as if it's a four inch pipe. So now my spirits are much higher because I thought I was dealing with three inch and that would have been no bueno at that angle that I, I'm pretty sure I posted that video. I had to have posted it. Anyway, so now I'm sitting in traffic, super fun. Yay. I bet you all wish you were in this car right now with me just sitting, but I'm gonna be on the highway in a second. So not a big deal. <laughs> I'll do a better job filming tomorrow. I'll just ignore calls. But this one was an important one. And I had to answer it. Usually I don't bother. Now, real question. Where do people get internet from if they live in a rural area? AT&T won't do it. Windstream won't do it. Um, let's see. HughesNet sucks. They're garbage. I've been there, done that. No thanks. Um... Who else am I forgetting? So the whole Elon Musk satellite isn't, not satellite, the Elon Musk internet is not out yet. So that's not a possibility. <sighs> I need internet. I was told by the homeowners that I'm working for now that they were able to get AT&T because they also got a TV bundle. I called AT&T. And I said, okay, I'll get TV, but I need internet. And they still said no. So then this morning, and this was sketchy, this morning I looked up and it said Windstream was available for my address because I just put in my address and it pulls up available internet. It said Windstream was available and I thought, well, that's funny because it wasn't available last week. Well, I end up on the phone with some third party vendor, I'm assuming. And the guy said that he had to verify after we go through what's my address, what do I want to order, blah, blah, blah. I, and what's my, you know, my name, stuff like that. And then he says that he either needs my social security number, not the last four, my full social or the number on my state ID. Never have heard that one in my life. So immediately I was like, um, no. And he said, well, we just need to verify that you are who you say you are to order this bundle. And I said, uh-uh, I've ordered bundles in the past. Never have they asked that kind of information. And I know with already having given him my address and my name, if I gave him my social, boom. They've got credit cards open in my name, they got whatever they want open in my name. No, just no. I've had my identity stolen at least once, if not twice. I've had 
had my bank account hacked twice. And man, I tell you what, I am not trying to open myself up for that kind of stuff. And when the guy kept insisting, I said, no, I've never heard of that. And he's like, well, let me explain why. And the explanation was always to make sure you are ordering the internet for the, the internet bundle for your house. And I'm like, so wait, you're trying to tell me it's to verify that I'm not a stranger ordering an internet bundle for someone else's house to then pay for it. I'm like, because how awesome would that be if some stranger was like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give them TV and internet. Let me pay for it now. So I hung up. Well, first I told him, I said, you know, I'm gonna go talk to these two military veterans, both doctors, both military veterans, served several tours and, or deployments, sorry. And they, I, I said I was gonna go ask them if they never heard of that either because they have internet bundle. So I put them on hold, I put them on mute. And I went and I asked him, and they had never heard of it either. So, then he's like, hello, hello. You know, after a couple of minutes. And I came back, and I was like, yeah, okay, so nobody's heard of this. Well, let me explain it. Let me explain it. Same explanation. So, I hang up. He proceeds to call me back until I blocked him. Anyway, I'm going to get myself home. I'm sorry the video stuck so much. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just hold on to that until I've got more and then put that out. But you guys will see. It's a, it's a tangly kind of job, which I, I have a tendency to fall into those. I guess for the reason that, A, I'm the person that'll take it. You know, I'm the one that'll be like, hey, cool. I get to mess with all kinds of weird shit. And B, I had the option of working alone. I don't wanna work with 19 different people. One guy's doing the drywall, one guy's doing this, one guy's doing that, one guy's doing blah, 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 blah. Unless I actually get to do just my job. Not have to go back and redo their jobs. So, anyway. That's it. That's all. That's my complaint for the day. I, it's less of a complaint and more of a what kind of weirdness is happening. Y'all saw the leaves in the wall, right? Okay? I was not imagining that. There were leaves inside the wall. But anyway, I'm going to go because I am on the highway and traffic's going to heavy right now. So, for the sake of uh, not dying. <gasps> oh. I was wearing it the whole time, Bob, I swear. Your eyes are deceiving you. Have a good one. Idea. I'm gonna speed things up, but. Ooh. I just tripped on my drill. Okay, so that is what will be the shower. I had started working on the floor, but then I realized I had to do the shower pan. And then, oh, this I've got so many things to trip on. The toilet is getting moved to there. The vanity is bigger and it's going to be moved next to the shower. The water lines in the walls, check this out. So, all this crap came out of the walls, but I need to open this up because this wall has a bathtub on the other side of it that we just added. So that's in there. And it doesn't have the plumbing fully done. All I've done is put the drain um, where it's got, you know, the, well, the hookup for the trap. So that's all ready to roll once I get that opened up. But I want to see exactly what I'm dealing with in this wall to add the plumbing to the wall for the tub because it's not just going to be a tub anymore. It's also going to be a shower. Would have been nice to know before I put the drywall back. So, 
Oh, more fun. Yeah, there was an outlet there. Bathtub, outlet, bathtub, outlet. Not a good combo, ever. So, um, also they wanted a light switch on this side. So it was gonna be two light switches and an outlet, which is why it's a triple gang remodel box. Now we're thinking it's just gonna be two light switches for light, light, and fan in there. Um, I've already gotten the wires configured in the attic for that. But I am going to go to a higher speed for this because it's time consuming stuff. Hey there, I am a mess because I've been outside working on the furniture I'm trying to build. I am building a shelf for my living room because I found some lumber in the 70% off pile and I'm super stoked about it. So I just got that sanded down. I put a coat of stain on it, not in love with the color, but back to the video. So the clips that are involved are over two days, I believe. Um, the area where the outlet was over the bathtub, I did get those wires pulled through into the attic. You'll see that it's been drywalled, regular drywall, regular mudding, and being waterproofed. There will be a shower head in there, but the shower is feet away. So I don't think it'll be used as a shower often, if ever. Um, You'll also see that the holes are cut in the walls for the uh, tub spout, the shower valve, and the shower head. Um, you'll at least see the one for the valve or the cartridge or the valve in the cartridge. Anyway, just a side down. On uh, Memorial Day weekend. Now these two are veterans that I'm working for. They called me on Saturday, Monday, is the day, like the Monday before, is the day that I installed uh, all the plumbing for the shower that you saw me waterproof with a little tiny uh, foot bench thing, you know, for like shaving legs. Um, that cartridge failed the following Saturday. I installed it Monday. I did not drywall it for, I think another day or two just to make sure, because I was using some shark bite um, 
connections, the two corners, because I didn't want their water off for a long time. So I assembled everything, let it dry as far as the valve, uh, the inlets, and the shower head. So I assembled all that, I let that dry. And then all I did was shut off the water and then do two shark bite elbows to connect it, get everything screwed into uh, where it needed to go. And then I waited at least a day, if not two, before putting the wall board up. And I did use green board for that. Um, so Monday was fine. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, fine. Saturday, at some point, the shower, like out of the shower head, there was no shower head there, but you know what I mean. Out of the drop ear, water started cascading down the wall. The only reason they noticed that is they noticed a drop in water pressure. They were sort of writing it off to, oh, well, we're doing laundry, this, that, and the other. Finally, one of them walked into the room, into that bathroom and saw that water was coming down. They sent me some pictures, or first they messaged me, and this was Saturday night at that point. They messaged me, uh, it would have taken me an hour to get there, and it was around 7.30, 7.45 Saturday night. And they said, hey, um, there's a leak, is there a water line broken? And when I saw where the water was coming from, at first it looks like it was coming from the valve. Then I saw the picture from further away. It was definitely coming from the shower head. And I thought, okay, if it's coming from the shower head, that is not a nicked water line. That is something with the cartridge, for sure. I happen to have a backup cartridge, that exact type, model, everything. Happened to have a backup in my truck. And I said, here's the deal. I can either come out tonight, I won't get there till around nine, which that's because of the hour drive. That's on a good day, it's an hour drive. If there's any traffic, it's longer. And with Memorial Day, it, it's been a little chaotic with summertime now. It's been a little more chaotic. But I got there. I brought everything I needed to replace water lines. But the first thing I did was replace the cartridge. And what do you think happened? It was fine. Not a problem. So I let the wall dry. The pan had already gotten one layer of waterproofing. But that led me to feel like, eh, Maybe I should just scrape things off and give it a chance to dry better. So I've been testing. I've been using a moisture meter. Everything returned to the same as any other wall in that area of the house, okay? Same reading on every wall. That cartridge though, that failed, was a Delta. I'm used to Moen failing, not Delta whatever they're all prone to that anyway just thought i'd let you know there's there there have been issues there have been issues along the way but you'll see that around the bathtub i closed up those walls i did need to add another layer of, of sheetrock because uh the original opening was 63 inches if i'm remembering right and the tub is 60 and where we're tiling is more like 59. Although I may just tile down to, it's, it's not really set up for um, tile unless it's set into an area and then drywalled from there. But like I said, it was 63 inches I've added and added and added. I furred out one wall, uh, the wall to the left with the window. I furred that out an inch and a half before I added more drywall. So that area you see me waterproofing in the final clip of uh, work there. That I've, I've added as much sheetrock as I can. Anyway, just so I let you know, have a good one.